Uh, talking about million to one shot, I didn't see this coming. Vincent Company close oh. to signing from Bayern Munich. Why, um, why, why? As manager, sorry. Top player, he was, top player. Paul Joyce, back page of the Times. Bayern are closing in on a surprise deal to make company the new manager despite the Belgian overseeing Burnley's relegation to the Championship. It's understood the 38-year-old company has suitors in the Premier League but has rebuffed that interest because he wants to take charge of the Bundesliga giants. Ooh. I mean, do you like to say good player but is this right in your opinion, Al? Well, maybe maybe the vast Harry. What do you think, Harry? Mm, oh, Vincent, I think, I think sometimes like when you have interviews as managers... If you give a good interview, your man like like company probably has the style of football he wants to play. Obviously, his pedigree as a player as well, mm. and they probably watched Burnley play in the Championship. Maybe they've seen I don't know clips or um, scouts or whatever watched them play in the Premier League. They did play attractive football, didn't they? If you had mm. better players, maybe they would have done a lot better. That's what they're saying. If you can bring that football to Bayern Munich with a better standard of player, that's what I can see. But still, getting Burnley relegated to get Bayern Munich job, yeah. Oh. But there's nothing in football surprises me, does no. it? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. even Keenan McKenna linked to Chelsea. We'll come to that later on. Yeah, look, good luck to him. You know, he's done brilliant with Ipswich. Good luck to him. I'd, I said just, I'd love him to stay one more year, see how we do in the Premier. So mm. there'll be a lot of town fans who'll be gutted by that news. You know what, though? Mm. We've, but we've, we've managers, privately, they might have been feeling it anyway. With managers, nothing surprises me because Birmingham City got relegated, right? Alex McLeese, manager. Mm. Month later, what job does he get? Aston Villa. Yeah. I was coming back from pre season and he fainted. I was like, you just took the rivals down, relegated from pre season. You've, you've done a good interview with him and like he's given you the job. There was no right to Villa Park. I, I feel we need to see a fly on the mate. wall appointment of a manager these yes. days. How does that head How's coach the role go? get appointed? Yeah. What do they have to do? What do they have to present? Is it the squad that you've got? They set it up. How Start do you play? Football, yes. What's your philosophy? And how do they interview well? All that kind of stuff. It's it's interesting. But yeah. listen, Some job, to, by the way. Yeah, yes, if so. company gets this oh. and he does well, full credit to him. But he's also going to need that time, Alan. You know, he will need that time. Well, will he? I watched Bayer Leverkusen last night and they were... You know, they got, yeah. Yeah, they got battered. They got battered. Imagine Craig Bellamy, though, shouting at, like, Harry Kane, Kimmich, yeah. Gozetska. Imagine. Don't <laughs> 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 they're going to have that off, Craig. True. Um, back page of The Sun today, Andrew Dillon and Charlie Wyatt writing, Todd Bowley's eye on Enzo Maresca. Uh, he's a shock oh. candidate now to become the Chelsea manager. It's such a merry-go-round. The Leicester boss has moved into the frame to replace the departed Maurizio Pochettino. He's done a brilliant job, that's for sure. But again, another opportunity coming from the Championship. You know, he's a good manager, but then going up to the likes of the Chelsea job, are they equipped? Well, talking about Enzo, the, you know, before Brendan got the Celtic job, there was strong rumours he was going to get the Celtic job, right? Mm. To prefer to Brendan. Brendan's won the, the Scottish Premier. We've got the Cup final Saturday. We're going to talk to Brendan later. So Brendan's done a great job, but Enzo was to tip then. So the word was out that this guy's a top coach, so it could be. But look, look at, I know Arteta spent a bit of money, but Arteta's done very well, being so close to win the Premier League. The style of football Arsenal play. Maresca coming from that pep school as well at Man City being under him imagine the football he could bring to Chelsea yeah. and they want that possession based they've come out and said it wouldn't surprise me it's not a bad show also we'll discuss later on the idea of the head coach role because the reason Pochettino it's believed has left Chelsea is because he transfers. wanted a bit more control of the transfers mm. Eric Ten Hag seems to want that too There's but Italian... that's not new Shaban is it we're it's seeing it more now. though like yeah. Arne Slot's been appointed at Liverpool to have the head coach role so to be working with the players not be involved mm. in the, the players he's policy. given to but I think the problem Poch had was the players they wanted to sell from under yes. him. I think yeah. that was it. But, I'm only guessing, but I think that yeah. was his problem. You need to balance the books, though. Well, I do yeah, think, though, Shaban, like, every manager's different. Pochettino's thinking, like, nah, next season, if I have a poor season, I want to be because the players that I've wanted to stay, mm. that I wanted to bring said in. before, it's not my team, yes. isn't it? It's not my I team. remember Tim Sherwood at Villa wanted to sign, like, you know, Aaron Lennon, these players, maybe Scott Parker, whatever players they were, but the club had a, had a, had a way of thinking of saying, no, we're going to get these players from the French League, mm -hmm. cheaper wages, cheaper fees, and it didn't end up working out. So you didn't have a say on like, the, the players that come in. Yeah. That could be a problem. True. Yeah. Uh, company set for Bayern is inside the Telegraph. Poch set for the England job. Or Poch for <laughs> England. Maurizio would love Southgate's job. Yeah, Southgate to Manchester Sun. United. Perfect.
I'm not sure. Why not so bad? <laughs> I'm not sure. Back page of the Express, three-way tussle for Kieran McKenna because, of course, Brighton interested also. Ipswich want to keep him. And then what about Chelsea? Count me in as back page of the Daily Mail. Ipswich boss McKenna is keen on the Chelsea job. And the special K is back page of the Mirror. Chelsea, Brighton and United all have Ipswich boss Kieran in their sights. So yeah. the merry-go-round is dominating the back pages of the papers today, but also is it Arsene Wenger. Back page of the Times, Martin Ziegler saying that Arsene Wenger is to oh, press side. ahead mm. with his proposal to bring in the most radical change to the offside law for more than 30 years after what he views to be positive results from trials. Uh, the former Arsenal manager is now FIFA's global football development um, is set to propose the change effectively meaning there has to be daylight yeah. between the attacker and the defender for an offside He'll get a lot of support card. from that. Well, I was, well, I'm glad to hear you say it. I will. I reckon they will. What is daylight, mm. though? What are, are we That's talking what I mean. like? It's so like is that foot? Is that no, no, no? Just a, a space, a tiny space between. So instead of millimeters. Yeah. Yeah, I think that should be right. When people were moaning that, like, oh, his toes offside last season, that would have been disallowed. You've cost us. Can't wink, can you really? We, well, it's, it, at the moment, it's garbage. It's got to be changed. Yeah. I'm with Enga here, definitely. I think you're right. I think this could be good for football. Yeah, I'm so. with it. I'm with it. Something's got to change. Uh, Shaban, thank you. We're going to move on there because last night was a big shock. At, at, uh, Atalanta what? 3, Bayer Leverkusen 0. Where's your nil. teeth, mate? I know. I left them. They're on the pillow. 3 <laughs> 0. Can you believe that? That was a shock. We'll talk about that next. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.